All right, so on to the next um, breast um, condition. This is a Paget's disease of the nipple. Now, quickly moving to the first slide, you get to see that this is also what is known as what? Paget's disease of the breast. All right? Paget's disease of the nipple, Paget's disease of the breast. Okay? So let's look at what it is. You see that it's a rare form of breast cancer. So this one primarily affects what? The nipple and the area surrounding the nipple. That's the what? Areola. So what are the key features? Um, symptoms is a... Uh, Symptoms is, is often uh, present as a red um, scaly rash on the nipple and areola, which may be itchy, painful, or burning sensation. So, other signs include crusting, oozing, or bleeding. In some cases, the nipple might become inverted. So, it's usually associated with cancer. So, Paget's disease is what frequently linked to what an underlying breast cancer already, either ductal carcinoma in situ or invasive breast cancer. All right. So, however, it can occasionally occur without an associated uh, cancer. Though. All right. So, diagnosis is a biopsy where you now take a sample of the what affected skin. All right. Then you send it to histology just to confirm it. The imaging is all those mammography, ultrasound, MRI, just to come confirm like probably the extent of the disease. So treatment is surgery. So you remove the nipple or areola space uh, place, right? Mastectomy, all right? Where you remove the total breast, right? Depend on the extent, okay? So additional therapies is radiation therapy, chemotherapy, hormonal therapy, all of this, right? Just depending on the type of what cancer that you are dealing with, okay? So that's A for the Paget's disease of the nipple.